Okay, last tub of the night that I'm going to list. Grade A, it's a white tub. It's a 97. It will work all the way up to 06. There are some changes they made, but they're virtually the same and they're really easy to adapt to them. Only difference is the firewall cutout on the older ones <clears throat> doesn't have that cutout. So you, if you're going to go to put this on like a 2002 and up, you would want to fill that in just so moisture doesn't get in. Otherwise, they're identical. You can change the new ones, the old ones, uh, vice versa. So I'm going to shoot this video as if you were here in person. Jeeps Unlimited, here's our yard. There's like a little plug here so you know exactly what we got. It's a little hard to see. Let's zoom in here. Nice. Our hoods, grills, cat. Hot Teddy. And uh, yeah, wheels. All of our parts sheets. There's some tubs in the background. We do service work too. We sell everything down to nuts and bolts. So anyway, let me zoom back out here. Back to the white tub. Um, this is a this is uh yeah so if i didn't already say this i like to do these videos so you can see these as if you were here in person i think it's kind of hard buying a big purchase especially use big purchase uh without being uh in person but we sell enough of them and these videos work out really well for us so firewalls all nice perfect straight clean it's a little dirty still we washed it but man, this stuff needs to be polished off obviously it's coming though you can see it so it just we didn't we didn't scrub it or anything um, it's, it's just, it, it came from Arizona, so it's kind of a reddish tint sand down there. Uh, this is the cowl area. This is normally covered up by a cow cover, which we sell those as well. Uh, this corner here, these can kind of get dinged up. Matter of fact, the one I just listed had a little ding on it. This one's perfect. Don't have to do anything there. Coming down to the side, this is all perfect. This side has got a little bit rolled in here, but you can get to it from this and this. You just pull this back out. Um, this is kind of common to see, usually a tire. We'll come back and hit these and then kind of tuck them down. Uh, all the rocker guard in great shape. This is where the fender goes. All these holes are factory, and they do put these over them, although a lot of people take them out. Um, they're just kind of wash holes out of them. I think they're molding holes, actually, how they make these things. or when they hole, I don't know exactly, but coming into your inner fender well, this is all in great shape. This is just dirt here. So you can see like that. Just come, Actually, more grease than anything, so that's even better. This kind of preserves it so you can see as I run my finger down, okay? Some grease that comes off there. Again, we didn't scrub them or anything. Coming back to the corner back here, this is all perfect. No rust, any anything like that. This is, again, just dirt that's kind of built up on there. Um, back through here, this is nice and straight. It's got a little bit of scratch in it right there. So this tub is in clean enough condition to just bolt on and go for sure, but it definitely has a couple scratches in it. And then back in your tailgate area, Hinges, these are in great shape. That's where your hinges go. Um, down through the side again, perfectly straight, no, no dings, dents. I mean, this is the cleanest, this is probably the cleanest TJ tub I've ever had in this yard. Uh, we're going to put it up online and eBay. Have one guy interested in it right now. But if it doesn't sell, put it up there. I'm sure it won't last long. So if you see it available, you should definitely take us up on it. Um, this side is in great shape. And they covered this one up. Uh, this has definitely got some scratches right through here. These are actually kind of deep. I don't know what Exactly that might be something that got bumped here definitely a little bit deep there That should be able to easily enough to get covered up uh, That's kind of where your fender meets it. It's the fender itself is this is all flat You can see didn't didn't take anything like through here or anything definitely something rubbed up on it through there though And then your floorboards nice and solid uh, Backside perfectly straight sometimes these get ripples in them. So you kind of want to keep that in mind no bolts broken in either one of these. That one's in good shape. No bolts broken over there. A little bit of change still sitting in it. And then this guy, yep, this one's all good. No bolts. Yeah, none of these bolts broke off in it. Uh, four boards are solid here, passenger side here. And the plug is still in it. So what you can do on these guys is pull these. And get it out. Some of those are pain to ass to get out. And you can start hearing the water come out the bottom of them. I usually have those pulled anyway. I think it's a bad idea to have plugs in the bottom of the Jeep, especially if you ever have the, the roof off. And then, Brian, do you want to jump in and lift it up for me? Coming to the other side here, this this is all nice, solid floorboard for your rear. And then the driver's side is nice and solid. It's got a little bit of sail, it's, and it's really not even scaling. It's just a little bit where the bare metal showed up there. And you can actually see bare metal underneath there. So 
if you take a wire brush to this, you'll see bare metal. Not soft at all, still solid. No rust, just on the top of it. That paint's come off. It's a good idea to coat these things in something, because your floor, even with carpet over it, it just rubs it, and it'll rub it right through. So go ahead and go up with it. Two major things I want to show you on the bottom of these things that love to rust on them. This one's obviously perfect, but you should definitely keep an eye out for it. It'll make putting a tub on a Jeep night and day difference. That's good. All right, so the major area, first off, is these channels. And you can see this one's perfect. These channels love to rust out, especially in the Midwest, East Coast. They're notorious to rust out, and they become junk, and you can't mount shit, excuse my friend, shit to them. Um, the, all the, you know, there's no broken pieces, and you might even be able to see the threads up in there. But they're in very good shape through here. And I would coat this, this is just a little bubbling here still solid nothing in it or anything like that i definitely would treat it though because that's an area the reason is there's a rubber bushing that goes there and it likes to trap moisture and then this side over here got the same thing so again treat it but no broken holes ready to mount all nice and solid right to your frame and then the other area i like to show even though it's not nearly as important as those areas is just down through the center of this which there you go the lighting's okay through there but this area back here loves rust too if you're in the Midwest. So they put a coating on these out of the factory and that's nice. It does keep them pretty clean. Um, these areas through here, if you start seeing rust building up in the seams through here, which this one again is nice and clean, it just needs to be washed. Uh, that's kind of a uh, indicator too. And then you can look in the channels and you can see how clean that tub is. So anyway, I hope that does it justice. Uh, give me a call and we'll work something out and uh, we'll go from there. Typically a tub like this, if it's still available, uh, and these are obviously getting more expensive to, um, to find, or well, more expensive to buy, I should say, just because Jeeps are becoming, you know, there's just everybody, they just don't make them anymore. So uh, I, back in the day, I was selling tubs for 600 bucks. No joke, that was about eight years ago. And now I can't for the life of me get a tub for when I when we buy them, we can't get them anywhere close to that. So we used to buy a whole Jeep for twenty five hundred bucks, three thousand. This one here, we spent seventy eight hundred on. So we spent a lot more on them. Our margins have gone down substantially, and because of that, we've had to go up on some of the costs. And like the tubs, they've definitely. This one will be advertised for about twenty five hundred with shipping. Um. The last one we sold on eBay went for 23 25 and it was a great tub too, but not nearly as nice as even this one was. So, Anyway, that's fully crated. Uh, I don't think I have a crate sitting around here. I'll show you that for a sec. Anyway, 303-666-9020. There's another one we'll get listed. Uh, it's got a roll bar on, or a Nerf bar on the bottom. That's why it's sitting up cockeyed. Um, and that one actually has a little bit of damage on it. You can see it right there in the front. Minimal, but still, you know, it's it's going to make it hard because you'd have to pull this out that's that's a good example of something this probably was this probably was taking a kind of a front impact this jeep was here before i bought this place which was about two years ago uh this jeep here i towed back myself i buy all my jeeps running and driving that right there is a parts jeep yes no joke parts jeep like it will come apart um most of my all my jeeps come in running and driving those are all those are all parts cheaps minus that guy there, which is customers, and those two there, which are also customers. The one in the back, guy rolled his Jeep, and that is his tub right there, and we're going to be doing that swap for him. So, anyway, 303-666-9020, uh, and I appreciate you taking the time and watching this. Have a great night.